Ten has been processed. We've currently been assisted by uh, officers from the Ethical Standards Command, uh, a pathologist from the Nambour Hospital, uh, and we're just processing the scene. Have you been able to uh, interview the family involved? Uh, there are a large number of witnesses that need to be interviewed. Obviously family is important, but there were neighbours that have some pretty important information to give us, and uh, they're being interviewed at the moment. Um, obviously you said a lot of witnesses. Were any of them children? Uh, there are children and adults that need to be spoken to, yes. How's everyone holding up, including officers? Oh, it's obviously been a uh, traumatic experience. No one comes to work um, wanting this. You know, you do train for it, but it's obviously something we don't want. Uh, so it's been difficult, obviously, for the police involved and obviously the family of the person. Um, do you have any further details about what weapon the police officers were being threatened with? Uh, that's still a matter under investigation by the Ethical Standards Command, but I can confirm that he did have a weapon. Uh, the incident was quite confronting from my understanding, and it's a matter that we'll put before the coroner. Mm -hmm. And um, what now? What, what next for the uh, Let me get a bug. Yep. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. There's obviously the processing of uh, the house. There, there is a, um, evidence that needs to be identified within the dwelling. So police will be on scene for at least tonight and late tomorrow. Was the man who was shot by police, was he uh, known to police previously? Uh, he's not known to Queensland. Um, I, I don't know a lot about the gentleman. Well, did the family have a history of domestic violence, including uh, this man? Oh. Oh. Thank you so much. Yeah.